Now this is just a really quick video of the peripheral nervous system, looking at your different cranial nerves. There isn't gonna be a quiz video with this because it's, it's kind of streamlined. It's not a lot of information. It should be easy to memorize uh, fairly quickly. So your peripheral nervous system is made of nerves and ganglia outside of the brain and spinal cord. There are two subdivisions of your peripheral nervous system. That is the somatic, which includes your cranial nerves, except the optic nerve. And there's also the autonomic, which is the sympathetic branch and the parasympathetic branch. You have 12 cranial nerves in all. You have to be able to identify them on a model. And you should also kind of know their function as well. Starting with cranial nerve one. Cranial nerve one is your olfactory nerve. It's involved in primarily sensory. It connects to the cortex directly, right? Uh, the olfactory system is weird in that it doesn't get relayed from the, hypo from the thalamus, excuse me, so it connects to the cortex directly and is involved in sense of smell. Cranial nerve two is your optic nerve involved in sensory. Uh, systems. This is located in your midbrain, involved in sight and vision. Cranial nerve three is the oculomotor nerve. This is a motor nerve only. It's located in the midbrain. It is involved in certain functions like pupil constriction and controlling the shape of your lens. And you guys should know that uh, pupil constriction is the parasympathetic branch, for instance, of the peripheral nervous system. The uh, cranial nerve four is the trochlear nerve. It's a motor nerve only. It's located in the pons. It's involved in movement of the eyes and specifically looking down and towards the midline of an object. Cranial nerve five is the trigeminal nerve. It has both a sensory and motor function. It is located on the pons. It controls muscles that are involved in mastication. It's also involved in pain and touch, touch sensation for your head and your face. Cranial nerve six is the abducens nerve. This has a motor function. It's located at the pons. And this allows your eye to move away from the midline of the face. Cranial nerve seven is the facial nerve. It has both a sensory and motor function. It's located at the pons. And these are, um, this nerve innovates your muscles that are used primarily in smiling and frowning and other certain facial expressions. Um, its sensory function is involving taste at the level of your tongue, for instance. Cranial nerve eight is the vestibulocochlear nerve. This has a sensory function only. It's located at the pons and it's involved in hearing and balance. Cranial nerve nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. This has both a sensory and motor function. It's located at your medulla. Its sensory function is tastes on the back of your tongue. Its motor function involves the muscles that are used during swallowing. Cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. It has both a sensory and motor function. It's located at the medulla. It is involved in things like swallowing, which is gonna be motor and digestion as well. Cranial nerve 11 is the an accessory nerve. This has a motor function and it's located at the medulla. This particular cranial nerve controls the movement of your trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscles. Cranial nerve 12 is the hypoglossal nerve. It has a motor function only, also located at the medulla, and it is involved in tongue movement. Now those were your cranial nerves. There are also spinal nerves that we're gonna get into just briefly. 
Your spinal nerves are going to be your axillary nerve located on your shoulder, your common fibular nerve located at the posterior thigh, um, your femoral nerve innervates your anterior thigh, the median nerve innervates your flexor muscles, hand muscles, and the skin. The musculocutaneous nerve innervates your flexor muscles and your skin as well. The obturator nerve innervates the adductor muscles in the thigh. The phrenic nerve innervates the diaphragm. The radial nerve innervates your triceps and extensor muscles. The sciatic nerve is by far the largest in the body and it innervates your sacrum. Uh, the tibial nerve innervates your posterior thigh and the ulnar nerve innervates your flexor muscles and intrinsic muscles of your hand. There are also several plexuses which are just a network of nerves in your body. There's the cervical plexus and the brachial plexus which are um, spanning from cervical nerves C1 through C8. There's also the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus. The lumbar plexus is just a bundle of the lumbar nerves L1 through L5 and then the sacral plexus is just the bundle of some of the lumbar nerves and the rest of the sacral nerves S1 through S5.